kit is essentially it's DW, which I've been playing now since about 19, about 1993, I think. They, they did the drums for that sort of uh, division bell tour. Um, but this kit is was more or less finished off during the, the COVID shutdown. Um, and basically what I did with this was I decided I'd go up one size all the way around. Uh, previous kit, and sort of 20, 22 inch bass drums. Because this is, because everything's a one or two inches bigger. Uh, which I have to say it's worked really well, particularly for some of the songs like set for controls. The bigger, the bigger sizes just have a little bit more oomph to them. Um, what else to say about that? I mean, that, that, that's it really. The, the, the main uh, other element on, on this kit is the artwork, which is uh, based on a, a well-known painting by a Japanese artist called Hokusai, uh, who painted hundreds of years ago. And uh, originally, I had an old, I had my Ludwig kit, painted like this by uh, a woman called Katie Hepburn, who uh, I met, I think, through, possibly through Terry Gilliam, though, Gilliam of um, Monty Python, because she did a lot of the artwork on the Monty Python show. We talked, I think we talked a bit about what we wanted to do and how to do it. And the kit, that kit is now in the V&A or in the Pink Floyd exhibition and still looks terrific. The interesting thing is it's now sort of 40 odd years old uh, and it now has a sort of patina. So uh, actually looks really rather nice. And these drums are just a little bit uh, lighter in color. We did a time-lapse, uh, a series of time-lapse pieces of her actually doing the painting because it took I think three or four months really to, to do it all. Uh, a lot of stripping down and putting back and putting coats on and then putting more coats on and then uh, finally finishing it with a lacquer to try and protect it a bit from being on the road. Um, what else to say? DW fittings generally, uh, which I'm very fond of. Then Pi Steve cymbals, which have Pi Steve. I've been playing since 1971, I think, when we were playing the Montreux Jazz Festival. Uh, someone from Paiste came and said, would I be interested in being an endorser? Which was absolutely thrilling, and I've been uh, accumulating symbols ever since. Uh, which is a wonderful thing, because uh, it is amazing how many different sounds there are how one's taste changes, in fact. Um, these, again, are all just a bit bigger than the cymbals I've generally played over the last 40-odd years. I was trying to look disapproving at sort of novelty cymbals and then find myself adding them to the kit. Can't help myself. Hi, my name's Phil Manchester, and I'm the drum tech on Nick Mason's Source Full of Secrets. North American Tour 2022. Uh, thank you, Modern Drummer, coming down to the, for the rig rundown. Uh, we're currently in this beautiful theatre in Seattle. It's always nice to be back in Seattle, great city. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a good, good show tonight. You know what, we're, we're, we're really blessed the companies that look after us and support us. Uh, they're, they're, they've been great. So of course, DW Drums, you know the history behind the artwork and the paint which Nick's taking you through. Uh, so we've got a 12, uh, sorry, we can start with 10, 12, 13, 14 toms. 16, 18, 22 kick drum. Uh, the snare drum is a DW Edge, which is an amazing drum. Probably one of my favorite snare drums for recording or for live work, it comes to that. Um, Pisty cymbals, actually, these are about eight inch micro hats. And then next to those, we've got a set of 14 inch dark crisp hats. 18 and 20 uh, fast crashes. That is a 22 full ride. Uh, 18 mega bow and uh, the last two is a PSTX which is kind of like a sizzle, sizzle symbol and finally a 24 inch 2002 China. Um, again we're blessed to be like looked after by the Paiste family 
and uh, they, they're just great symbols and Nick's been working with them for years and we're just very blessed to have their support. Uh, some of the symbols you see, which are kind of odd choices, I think, uh, something like the Gigabell ride, but they're used primarily in different sections, different songs. So there is certain symbols on this set that will change out depending on what the set is. Um, these are what we're currently using on the current set list on this tour. Um, and yeah, great. You know, we say we do change them out occasionally. Um, we're just looking forward to getting a new 22 inch Masters Swish, which we'll be having on the, on the kit soon. That'll be the new addition. In terms of heads, so again, all Remo. Again, great support from the guys at Remo. And we can't thank them enough and thank for their support. And the whole kit, the kick drums we're using at the moment are uh, Power Stroke 3s which are always my kick drum head of choice if I can if I can um, Tom Wise we've got uh, these are all coded ambassadors on tops and clear ambassadors on the bottom and the same we use a coated ambassador 14 inch on the snare drum as well and um, you know just the combination of those heads with the DW drums is a uh, it's a perfect combination and it's all good uh, the drums in fact with Nick it's compared to other drummers where you've got um, what you're trying to get is basically like a nice drum kit tuning that, that will sit well across the whole set with Nick it's slightly different because there is a lot of songs he plays on mallet so um, give an example these the, the drum reference I use when tuning these is for uh, a song called set the controls to the heart of the sun which Nick plays on mallets and it's quite toneful the way he plays the rhythms on the toms it's quite a toneful song so actually these drums are actually tuned roughly to to uh, um, pitches and then we get intervals just to go around the kit to make it a nice, uh, make it nice, sounding nice. Drumstick wise, we use Promark. And again, great support from the guys at Dodario and Promark. Thank you for that. Um, again, these companies, Nick's been with these, a lot of these companies for years and years and years. And, um, you know, it's kind of a friendship and a family vibe as much as a, you know, sort of, I guess a working vibe, that's the right thing to say. So yeah, we're, we're, we're very lucky who support the team and the companies of supporters. Microphones, that's not my department, but um, <laughs> they are all different. I think we've got 91 from the kick drums and Sennheiser, I think they're they six side fours on the Tom, but I'd have to check that because I'm not sound man. I just do the cowbells and Latin percussion. Again, you know what, it's like the mega bowl ride and the, and the cowbell, they're just used on specific songs in certain, in certain parts. They're not used throughout the whole set. And the same can be said about the gong. Uh, Peisty 40 inch gong. Uh, symphonic gong stroke tam tam that's used in set the controls to the heart of the sun as well and uh, Nick tells quite a funny anecdote to do with this 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 gong and uh, so yeah watch the show to find out what that story is um, but again great 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 signing symbol yeah part of the set and it's you know synonymous with bands of that era and Roger Waters smashing it up on stage I believe and setting it on fire back in the day um, DW pedals, so we've got 9,000 on the kick drum pedals and finally the hi-hat stand is the DW 5000 hi-hat stand. Of course DW yeah. rack, everything's DW here, you see every, every bit of hardware is DW, as are the drums. Um, all cymbals are Peisty, all sticks are made by Promark, the beats are made by Promark. And uh, lamp percussion being, you know, again, that's, that's the only part of the lamp percussion we've got on here, but again, part of the DW family. Great addition to the kit. Yeah, well, of course, congratulations to DW for their 50th. Well, I've certainly been playing DW for most of their lifetime. They've just done a fantastic job. I've had, I can't remember how many kits I've been through now, um, but because I really like the thing of uh, different drums for different tasks, really. So I'd, I'd really rather play slightly smaller drums. Or, in studio situations, and I certainly well, wouldn't want well, to double bass yeah. drums in, in studios. Again. No, John Good and Harrison, and of 
course Louis, who actually did the most beautiful job on two of my drum kits. One's a dark side kit, which is specific to, it was done for a tour where Roger was playing dark side and I was guesting on some of the shows, including the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, and Louis did this brilliant, um, uh, brilliant black kit with a slight sparkle in it and then the, the prism going around it and I don't think he ever never even heard the album so I think that was uh, I rather like that and then we did a fairground kit again with very specific art well, there's some great books on it but um, that's another great favourite of mine because I, I love that sort of artwork there, so. mm -hmm. 